Harley is another brand that will transition to a full electric lineup. No, this is not clickbait. This is 100%. I'm going to be linking up the article right here so you guys could look at it as we're going through talking about this topic. So yes, the company is going to be going all electric in the future. That's not to say that it's right now, next week, next year. The CEO states that it could take decades. So as you know, um, and if you are well aware of what's going on with the automotive industry, um, a lot of companies, most companies at this point are going all electric. They'll have a set goal in mind, whether it being by 2030, 2040, 2050, whatever it is they all have a goal in mind where it says that from this point on all their lineups will be fully electric now that does not mean that if you own one of these internal combustion engines here you need to get rid of it this is basically going for anything that's going to be coming in new production now let's scroll down this article um i want to target some key points that i read in here and then we'll touch base on each one zeitz says it could take decades plural so at the very least we're looking at sometime after 2033 or easily into 2040s but the change is coming for sure now with that being said it is now 2023 guys so we, we got another 20 or 30 maybe 40 50 years before we see all this take action so by that time most of us are i mean we, we might not be here and if we are here we're gonna be a little bit too old to be on twos so i'm gonna go ahead right here and read what you're gonna be seeing on the screen. If you look at the past 120 years, the company has always evolved. Never so still, he said. Now, like the founders did at the time by trying to reinvent or invent something unique, that's obviously something that we as a company brand need to do as well. What we're doing is celebrating our past but also evolving the brand at the same time, he continued. It's a natural evolution that needed to happen. So obviously what we're getting from that is that the company obviously needs to keep reinventing itself, just like any other company out there, trying new things and bringing them on board. Now as we scroll further down, uh, right here it says, it's possible Harley Davidson is fully aware that its core customers have little interest in buying EVs. 100%, you could definitely go up to any hardcore Harley Davidson enthusiast and talk to them about an EV, talk to them about an all electric, motorcycle like the live wire and they're just gonna look at you like you have three heads and just walk away and so in here in quotations we see i believe in big transformational change for iconic brands which is why i've always done in my life he said we are targeting different consumer profiles you hear that again let me, let me say that again we are targeting different consumer profiles you have the traditional core customers but you have a contemporary core customer you have dreamers that aspire to ride or may just dream about the brand he continues and then right here uh the next paragraph it says perhaps for the first time in a long time harley davidson is truly thinking about the long term the iconic american company could stand to be a little more transparent about ev roadmap as the companies in the auto and moto industry have been but what seems clear for now is that harley is finally looking at its future rather than his past. Obviously, this new CEO is thinking and is looking largely into the future, right? Where he doesn't just want to keep the company as it is right now, because obviously the world is moving at a very fast pace. The auto industry, the motor industry is obviously moving into the EV world. And this is not by choice of the companies either, guys. So I know at times we say, why is Harley Davidson doing this? Um, and why isn't Harley Davidson doing this? There is a lot of mission standards out there. There is, there is a lot of rules that uh, governments are you know, putting down right now. And even though we're not gonna see these drastic changes right now appear out of thin air, they're soon to be coming, like he said, within the next few decades. And quite frankly, I am not a full advocate for this because I like my internal combustion engines. I like the feel of these classic motorcycles and these classic motors when it even when it comes to cars i like the feel of it I like the sound of it I like everything but that's that's another video i'm not gonna get all political on this with that being said um i am a huge fan of the live wire so Let's open her up oh my god <laughs> that's instant power man 
Whoa. Da, 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 da. Sport mode. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Let them give us a few more models and um, we'll take it from there. I know we love the rumble and the sound of those beautiful Harley Davidson bikes, but this is, this is just a secondary option. Doesn't mean that you have to leave your bike for this. You can have two bikes, guys. You can have three bikes. Now let's open her up. Oh, shit. So ever since Harley Davidson designed the live wire, came out with it, released it to the public, I was a huge fan. At first seeing the design, I was like, wow, that's a beautiful design bike. A lot went into the whole design of it. A lot went into the whole tech part of the bike. Um, and I honestly loved that bike. I got to spend a little seat time on it. Uh, and th there was there was no, no complaints I had about the bike. I know a lot of people hated it. Um, it, it was, I feel it might have been too soon. I think if maybe the live wire would have came out today, um, I think it, it, it would have been maybe accepted a bit more. Um, but that just goes to show you that that Harley Davidson is kind of on the forefront of things. They, even though a lot of us hate to admit it, but they do try to do a lot of new things, and at times it's not accepted by the audience. <laughs> core Harley Davidson riders at that. Um, so that bike came out, when was it, 2020, I believe it was? And I mean, it's been three years since that. And in three years, a lot of things have changed. I mean, just look at the auto industry. Um, they're almost every other company right now has an EV out there and they're, they keep coming out with new designs and, and more and more people are growing towards them. Um, Tesla just, you know, just came out swinging and they kind of took the horse by the rein. They're leading in, in that aspect right there. Um, with that being said, Tesla also had a really, really big incentive, right? So Tesla's incentive was, hey, buy this EV, you'll get a tax credit and you'll get a certain amount of money back on your tax return. Feel like that's what kind of pushed the public more to, hey, you know, this is pretty cool. It's a beautiful design. Um, and there is a really good incentive for me to get this car. A, I'm not gonna be spending money on gas. Two, I'm gonna get a nice big tax credit. So that 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 kind of turned the light bulb on in a lot of people's heads. And that to me right there is the reason why I think Tesla has had such great success. Now, uh, let's be honest here. The price point that the live wire was priced at was a little bit too high. It was, it was priced at around $30,000, right? Um, then Livewire gets X off the Harley Davidson lineup. Livewire becomes its own identity, its own brand. And now Livewire is priced around $21,000. Um, with no Harley branding on it, it's just the brand now Livewire. Um, and then, I mean, I know people were a little upset about that. It's like, all right, well, here's the same exact bike now sold for the, the fraction of the price. Um, so I think from the beginning, if, if they would have priced that bike at the price that it's selling for now, I think it would have had much more success and it would have been a little bit more appealing to, uh, other customers out there. I think that it will be a kind of a lesson learned going into the future and their future plans with these new EVs that are going to be coming out. Um, but all in all, I, I absolutely love the live wire. I, I would love to have a live wire that it's a really cool bike. And if you haven't sat on one yet, trust me, just if you're able to ever throw a leg over and take that bike out, you will like it. It, it sounds like a TIE fighter from Star Wars. A lot of people have been complaining about the sound of this bike. I, I really think it sounds cool, man. Let's put a pause to that thought real quick. Let's open her up. Oh my God. <laughs> it's power at the at the twist of a throttle it's um it's pretty comfortable suspension on it is great uh all the tech that's packing is awesome has riding modes um and it's 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 cool it's nimble and it's 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 fun at the end of the day it's fun and that's what you want to have on a bike when you get on it you want to have fun on it now enough with the live wire um 
what do I personally think about this step moving forward? Um, I think it's a move towards the future. Um, it's something that's gonna need to be done. Um, and if the company gets on and out and stays ahead of the other competitors, then it, it will do well. Um, unfortunately, like it or not, that's the future. And we just need to accept it. It is what it is. Um, that's not to say that, hey, you cannot own one of these bikes because there's thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of Harley Davidson out there that run on gas and no one's gonna take those bikes away from you. As long as you have one, you have one, that's it. But 40, 50 years from now, are they gonna make them from what we are reading here now? No, we've seen people have classic cars, classic bikes from 50, 75, 80 years ago and they're, they're still all running, so. If you love your combustion engines, you, I mean, you're gonna have an option to ride them. If you want an all electric brand new, then you're gonna have an option to have that as well. I am very, very interested into hearing what you guys all have to say and what do you guys think about this topic right here. Huge topic, like I said before, I'm not sure why it's not getting too much of attention, but it's, uh, it's an interesting topic and I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Where do you stand on with the whole EV thing? Uh, are you totally against it? I know some people just hate EVs. Um, I am a fan of them. I, I, I like my gas cars, I like my gas bikes, but I'm also a huge fan of the, the new electric technology coming in. And if I had an option to own both and have both, I'd do that. Anyways, that's gonna be it guys. If you're new to my channel, if you wanna see more content like this, more Harley Davidson news, you're definitely in the right place, go ahead like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and if you want to see some content on my rogue live special right here my fxr or my lowrider s which is in the shop getting a 122 installed in it right now you are definitely in the right place i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace